Hey up everybody, welcome to the Aldo Cycling YouTube channel where today I'm going to be ranking the favourites for the upcoming Men's World Champs Road Race. So, World Champs happens on Sunday and I thought I'd do a little bit of a different format, I haven't seen people ranking them, I've seen some couple of star ratings on Twitter but I thought I'd do my own take on this. So I think the only way that to rank this properly is that Woutman Art is the S tier rider. I've seen a lot of people saying that there's a couple of people who could also be up there with him but let's face it, Woutman Art is Woutman Art. He, he is the favourite for this race and I think it would be rude to put anybody else up there in that tier with him. Um, especially when you consider the strength of his team, parkour suiting really well, it's literally just, it's, it's the wow show pretty much and the only way to beat him is to employ some pretty good strategy into the race. I think some other riders who would be in the A tier, I'd probably put, I'd probably put Van der Poel in A tier. I know that we saw him crack over 2019 World Champs in Harrogate, but I think that was a slightly different circumstance. It was a wet day, it was a really, really tough day. But other than that, we've seen a lot of performances from Van der Poel from races which are longer than 240, 250k, getting over to six hour mark. Um, and I think that, you know, he's, he's in a decent run of form at the moment. I know he uh, he had a puncture of the Primus Classic the other day, so of course he couldn't really contest that. And also De Koenig just employed a perfect masterclass for that. Other favourites for A tier, I think that Colbrelli and Mohoric, both Bahrain victorious riders, would be in the A tier. Colbrelli's just in a fantastic run of form at the moment. He really just seems pretty unassailable, especially since winning the European champs. He was, was of course, beaten by uh, Valgren at Coppa Sabatini, I think it was. Mohoric, of course, is also very good at uh, the longer kind of races. Um, of course, won a stage of the Benelux Tour recently, and he came second on GC there. He'll also have Tyler Pogacar behind, more than likely uh, being able to block moves if he is up the road. I'm not really sure if I'd put anybody else in the A tier. Um, you could maybe snag, you could maybe put Alaphilippe in there as well. But for me, I think Alaphilippe is B tier. He hasn't quite looked as good as I thought like he was last year before he won the world champs and for some reason there's i just feel get a feeling that there's something missing from him and in fact i'd perhaps be favoring uh florian seneschal his teammate and also um fellow countryman i put florian seneschal in b tier but he looked really good at the primus classic the other day and i think that you know seneschal's just getting to that kind of time now where he's due a big result and i definitely think that this could be his chance i'd also be putting um, quite a lot of the Danish riders in B tier, so I think that Valgren would go in B tier after his like win of he's won two races recently. I'd probably put Asgreen up there, especially since he did a good TT. Um, I'd also maybe be tempted to put Hershey up there after his performance at the Tour of Luxembourg. And yeah, but just because he, he looks strong, but he hasn't quite looked quite as fast as he has um, as of as of late. Um, but I think I think that a lot of people would, for me, would be going into C tier. I'd be putting Zhao in there, even though he won the Tour of Luxembourg. He's quite unproven over this kind of distance. I'd probably put around Baru there. Maggie, for me, I've seen a lot of hype around Maggie, but he's really just good. Um, he was really good in the Vuelta, but that was because he was getting later on to the Grand Tour. And for me, that just indicates that he was, like, he's just very good at performing later on when everybody else is quite tired. So for me, I think Maggie's D tier in terms of favorites. I'd probably also put somebody like Stefan Kung down there. Christoph would suit it sitting there as well. Um, of course, France have another option in Christophe Laporte. I think personally, he's not in B tier. I think he's probably C tier. He's definitely better than the likes of Christoph, I think, and especially since his team strength is good. And we're putting him in C tier. Um, you got Cousin of Foy, who's also um, he, he's another Frenchman, but for me, the fact that he didn't do that great in the European champs casts some doubt over my mind as to how well he's doing. He also didn't do like massively well in the Tour of Luxembourg. He didn't win any stages there. He looked good, but not on fire. So for me, I think I put him on the same level as Laporte in C tier. Um, Pogacar is a weird one because he could definitely go really well. We know he can go well over the distance. He's won Liège. I'm between A and B and C tier for Pog. Um, I think I'll put him in B tier just because we know how well he can do over a long distance. And he's also got Mohoric up there. 
so those two can play that kind of team dynamic. Mikhail Frolikonore has looked good, but it's going to be quite a long shot for him to win. So I'm thinking C or D tier. I'll probably go with D tier for him. Hater, I think is C tier. Um, the only race we've really seen him do well in at, at this kind of distance is Britannia Classic, which he didn't win, but he is also in very good form at the moment, kind of similar to Colbrelli. But I think that Hater just has doesn't have as much experience as, as Colbrelli, so I think C tier is probably about right for Hater. You could make an argument to say that he's actually B tier. Trentin, um, I'm going to go with C tier, just because I don't think that he is... You could maybe say B tier, but I'm going to go with C, just because I don't think that he's quite on the level of like a Seneschal and Asgreen or a Valgren right now. Um, Avenapool, it depends what you kind of think Belgium are going with here. They seem to be going all in with the Wout kind of uh, strategy, but could Avenapool get into a move to try and help Wout kind of save his legs and then accidentally win? Yes, but you also saw at European Champs that he literally just went win a sprint, so therefore he's probably C tier. Uh, Lampart, I'd probably like more than Avon Apol, but am I going to put him in B tier? Probably not. I think he's probably C tier. Steuven, very similar. Um, I think he is also in C tier, just because I think that a lot of these Belgian guys are working for Wout and Art. Pidcock, we haven't really seen much of, and honestly, I'd, I'd prefer Hater over Pidcock, so I'm going to have Pidcock in D tier. Pedersen, we haven't really seen much of. Um, to be honest with you, so I'm going to go with D tier for Pedersen, but if it rains, then Pedersen will probably quite easily go up into B tier. Um, but for the moment, I'm going to go with D tier. Sargon has looked okay recently, so I'm going to go with C tier. You know, the legend that is Sargon, I think it'll be a bit disrespectful to put him into D tier. And also another legend, Kvitkovsky, I'm going to go with D tier, just because we saw that he wasn't in like great form last year, and then he ended up pulling out a, a fourth place in World Champs, so I think that I put him in C tier as well. So this is my ranking of all the favourites. Got Wattmanar as the out and out favourite. And then I got Vanderpol, Colbrelli, and Mohoric um, as A tier. And then Alaphilippe, Seneschal, Valgren, Asgreen, Hershey, and Pogacar on B tier. And then we've got everybody else underneath that. I'll leave a link to this um, in the description below so you guys can make your own. And I'll also put my Twitter handle down there so that you guys can take a screenshot and send it to me because I'd like to see what you guys think um, and make your own tier list. And yeah, I think we're all very excited for this. A bit of a different format and I'm really happy I've done this. I've found this a lot of fun. Maybe I'll do another one for Rube coming up next week. Uh, but all that's left to say is that thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Um, keep safe and I'll speak to you in the next video. Salut. Yeah.